Wingstuff recently announced the bundling of the JNM GL1800 digital music player along with the uh, companion software that uh, makes it easier to populate your uh, flash drive, uh, thumb drive, uh, uh, or SD chip to enable the software. So taking a look at it, uh, this is basically the JNM hardware and a picture of the software behind here. Uh, next we're going to get into how you can download the software and enable it to uh, make your job easier loading thumb drives. When you go to the Wingstuff page, uh, you'll see the uh, description of the software. You know, read through it, there's a lot of interesting material there, but we're going to go ahead and uh, download the software and load it onto this computer. So I clicked on the download, it brings up a window, it says open the window. Uh, it brings up a uh, WinZip file. Uh, there's the uh, standard Windows loading file, we'll double click on that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open this and it says uh, welcome to the setup wizard let's click next uh, let's let everybody use the software we're going to go with the uh, default location uh, next I'm going to go ahead and install it and now uh, the software uh, will be installing now that we've successfully loaded the software it creates an icon on your desktop. We'll go ahead and double click the icon, open up the uh, applications entry window, and it says, hey, I need a pass key. Well, when you purchase the software uh, and agree with the conditions, so you'll enter your email address and the pass key as provided uh, from Wingstuff. Uh, for this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and enter the software in the demo mode, so we're going to skip this. It's going to remind me that I can only copy three tracks per CD volume, and we're already into the software. Well, so this is the first time you've ever run the software. We've created a, a series of demonstration files, and I'm going to go ahead and load that configuration uh, into the tool and show you how we can do a, a quick uh, uh, test on the motorcycle. Uh, let's load the uh, test audio configuration file. Uh, it has a series of short song tracks provided with the software that basically say for example this is CD2 track 2 so that when you load your thumb drive you can determine whether or not it was correctly loaded and uh, how many tracks and volumes will actually play on your motorcycle whether it be 6, uh, 9, or 10. So the other thing we have to do is we have to tell it with the destination drive. On my computer I already determined that the destination drive is my G drive, so I'll go ahead and set that at this time uh, using the menu options. And I saw there that the uh, G drive already had some files on there, so I want to clean the G drive. I reviewed the files, I'm going to say OK. So now we've cleaned the G drive, and now we're going to go ahead and do the copy. Uh, so we go over here and select this menu, it brings up uh, the, uh, the copy status uh, uh, window and we want to select the 10 disk copy version and go ahead and start the copy. It's going to remind you that since you're in trial mode you're only allowed three songs per track. And here we go, uh, we're copying the uh, songs over. Okay, finished copying, everything successfully uh, copied. We can remove the thumb drive, take it down the motorcycle and, and test it to see uh, if it works as, as expected. What we're going to show you here is a way of quickly loading uh, songs from your hard drive on your main computer to the uh, thumb drive or uh, SD chip used in the uh, uh, Goldwing motorcycle using the uh, Goldwing Virtual CD Music uh, Manager. When you first open the software you can see that there's a source drive and directory, destination drive and directory. First thing you want to do is you want to go to file and says step one it says set the source folder. So we're going to click that and uh, go to my computer. In my case, I'm going to scroll down there to uh, users, public, uh, public music. And what we have here is where I have stored all the music that uh, I have ripped from my CDs. So I'm going to start that uh, loading right now and go to file. And we're going to load the music files. Now that the music is loading, over here on the destination drive, what we need to do is we need to tell the software what the destination drive and folder is. So uh, I know that uh, my thumb drive is plugged into the uh, G drive, so I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to say, hey, it's on the G drive. 
While the music is loading, I'm going to go through and clean the G drive. So I'm going to go down here and it says, well, let's clean the external memory card or thumb drive. And there's a bunch of songs on there. And it asks you some questions here. It says, I don't want to continue or I want to uh, do that. So you want to click the button, say, OK. Are you really sure you want to delete it? So right now we're going to delete the thumb drive. As you can see, everything is deleted off of that. And it says, OK, the thing's been cleaned, ready to go. Now on your motorcycle, uh, the number of CD volumes on uh, some of the gold wings you can support up to 10, others only 9 or 6 or 1. So what you want to do here is you want to select the number of CD volumes that your gold wing can really uh, support and the maximum songs per CD on some of the later models is 99, others it's 87, 54, 13, on mine it's 99. So we've got 10 CD volumes over here. Now I know the things are still loading here, but I can go ahead and continue loading this. Uh, oh, we just finished 11,000 songs. So on CD1, if you want to uh, just create a total random uh, playing of songs in random order, what I can do is I can select this random load 99 songs, and it will load each CD volume with 99 songs. So I'm going to go through there and do that. We're up to CD4 now. We're loading them. And these songs are all loaded and, and uh, created on the right-hand side in, in random order so that you don't have to listen to the same author or album uh, altogether. I've just, uh, well, let's see. I've just loaded 990 songs. If you look down here on the bottom, it says uh, 99 songs in each and every directory. Now we're ready to uh, cut the uh, thumb drive or our SD chip. So I go to File. That says let's copy everything over to the thumb drive. This gives you several options on here. Uh, I've got the 10 disk uh, version. You may have the 9 or the 6 disk version. You want to select the appropriate button to do the copy. So at this point, I uh, start the copy. And you can see here it, it starts out. It says that the, uh, we're on the, uh, the CD disk version, track number. Uh, number of kilobytes written, tracks written, and a thing will continue copying these songs over to the thumb drive. Once this is done, you can remove the thumb drive, take it down to your gold wing, plug it in, and once initialized, you're good to go. Okay, we've uh, previously uh, copied all these songs on all these CD volumes over to your thumb drive. Now what I want to show you is uh, using the uh, Music Manager. Well, geez, uh, how can I save that? So if you go over here to uh, File, we want to save the current configuration. As you can see, I have a bunch of uh, files over here in the data directory. Uh, I just want to save this and uh, at a file name .cfg. I'll give it a name here like uh, uh, My Songs. And just push the Save button. We have now saved all that configuration for a later date. So if you go up here to uh, uh, Edit, and we can go Clear All. Now everything is cleared, everything is empty. But at a later date, geez, you know, I want to restore that thumb drive to what uh, the previous configuration was. So I can come up here to File, Restore Previous Configuration. We can look there, it says, oh, there's My Songs. Double click on it. And voila. The whole configuration has been restored, and I can go over here to File. I can uh, copy everything over to uh, the thumb drive, and I can restore everything exactly what uh, it was at a previous date. So you have the ability to save previous work done.